Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Paleo Figure, today we will be looking at the Jurassic Ornithopod Camptosaurus. Before we get started feel free to leave a comment giving feedback or constructive criticism, I will be sure to take notes to help benefit the quality of videos in the future. Back to the video, the Camptosaurus was a small iguanodont living in western North America and possibly Europe during the late Jurassic period. It was discovered in Albany country in Wyoming on the 4th of September 1879, originally named Camptonitus, it was renamed to Camptosaurus shortly after as the original name was already in use for a cricket, yes you heard me correctly. Camptosaurus meaning flexible back, had a length averaging at 6 meters with larger specimens reaching lengths of 7 to 7.9 meters and an estimated average weight at 1 ton. It was part of the group Iguanodontia, one of the first dinosaur groups ever discovered, it included the larger more well-known Iguanodon which lived earlier in the mid-Jurassic, Iguanodontia branched off from the group Ornithopoda, ranging from small speedy stiff-tailed herbivores foraging the vegetation and measuring around a meter in length, to large semi-quadrupedal herbivores being able to comfortably graze in the trees and reaching more than 10 meters in length. Hadrosaurs also branched off from Ornithopoda, nicknamed the duck-billed dinosaurs which included genus such as the Parasaurolophus which was well known for its abnormal crest, and not to mention the massive Shantungosaurus. Camptosaurus had a relatively heavily built form with robust hind limbs and broad feet possessing four toes on each foot. It had a rather triangular skull with a pointed snout, while an earlier inaccurate reconstruction of Camptosaurus's skull suggested that it had more of a rectangular profile, this was disproven. Equipped with a rather pointed beak, its teeth were more tightly packed in its jaw compared to other iguanodonts. Museum curator John Foster describes its teeth having thick median ridges on their lateral sides and denticles along their edges, which are similar to those found on Dryosaurus but more developed. It was indicated that Camptosaurus had a diet of relatively tough vegetation, as its recovered teeth frequently show extensive wear to them. The Camptosaurus lived in dangerous grounds with a range of different carnivores existing in the region at the time. Allosaurus and Torvosaurus were the two largest, they were very lethal and capable predators both living in North America and Europe during the late Jurassic period. Life as a Camptosaurus would not have been a safe or relaxing one indeed, you poor bastard. Scientists believe that Camptosaurus could achieve running speeds of up to 25 km per hour or 15 miles per hour, this would come in handy when pursued by larger bulkier theropods such as Torvosaurus, but could possibly be matched by the lighter and more nimble Allosaurus. It was presumably not a fighter with no unique offensive or defensive traits. Its flight or fight response most likely leaning towards flight, with the probability that it would have ran at the first hint of danger like modern day mammals such as the Impala and Gazelle. Pop culture wise, the Camptosaurus has been featured on an episode of BBC's Planet Dinosaur, which is like a more modernized version of the outdated Walking with Dinosaurs series released in 1999. That's it for today, feel free to leave a comment suggesting a prehistoric organism that you would like to see me do an episode on next. Thanks for watching.